I've got four replays of my favorite deck. It's the 30 card self milling Bakura deck. I did some more ranks since that uh, last video I put out. And I did get to Platinum 2. I started using some ninjas. But they weren't really that fun. So I might just try to like climb that least legend using the Bakura deck. So you're reversing a restart ma. Starting with magical merchants pretty huge. Starting with two skull layers isn't that great though. So this guy's using some kind of weird stally monster stealing deck. And since he put out a Gale Lizard, I might as well just flip my own monster. Here I think I end up making a misplay. Yeah, I should have attacked the Gale Lizard with my Doom Dog, because it would have gotten over it. Here I could have killed my own monster with Skullair, but instead I just uh, let him do it so I could use Fiend Farewell. And of course, Dark. I mean, uh, Veil of Darkness is starting to do its job really well here. I decided to keep that Karibo, do a Fiend Farewell, blow up his monster, and then summon a Dark Necro here. He probably should have tried killing my Skull Lair sooner when I was blowing up his. Gale Lizard, but I guess he just didn't think of it for some reason. So there I expected something like Jowls or Gale Lizard, because I saw his Dimension Gate. He steals my Dark Necro Fear, but he already used his Wild Tornado. Doomsday is getting powered up by that Dark Necro Fear that got banished. Plus all the things I had to banish to summon him and use Skull Lair. And he's gonna steal another Doomsday Horror from me. I decide not to attack to let him activate those. Of course I throw out another monster so I can have at least four to blow up my own Doomsday Horror. And as soon as I blow him up, I'm going to return those monsters that he banished because they're dark type. So these just became dead dimension gates. And then I get to summon Dark Necrofear. Now I have a ridiculous amount of Chaos Zone counters. Might as well revive a Doomsday Horror. But uh, actually. I just want to prevent Econ or any similar card. So I actually revived Invader. You know, not having any though. And then he also thought that his uh, Dimension Gate would still work for some reason. But I had already removed those from being banished, so he couldn't. Alright, another Magical Merchant opening. He's running some kind of weird Neuteria deck. He's scared to attack too. So I might as well just set up my whole, whole row of people. It's not bad to start going aggressive-ish early. But I'll usually just take my time if I... If I have the opportunity. Because my deck is like one of the best late game decks out there. Alright, special summon Fiend Mega. Get Chaos Zone out. 
Advantage three monsters, special summon dark necrofear. And I probably set magical merchant. Yep. Didn't care if my monster dies because I get to steal. So if it was super rush, I would have attacked with Gene Mega also. Most likely. Killed my own merchant so I could uh, have room on the field to get another necro here. So I got seven banished monsters now. Puts this guy at 2100. He's trying his best to stall, and I could make some plays to rush it even faster, but I didn't need to. Like, you can do stuff like, uh, kill your own Doomsday Horror and get all of your fuel back and then just start skull airing stuff. And then since I have Chaos Zone, every time I'm banishing things with skull lay, I'm able to put counters onto it and revive my monsters. It only takes four to kill my uh, Doomsday Horror, and then four counters to revive my Doomsday Horror. So as long as I get some banished monsters, I'll be able to keep reviving and blowing stuff up. So this guy is trying to make use of Axe Raider. And this also gets out more normal monsters. Okay, so I already have a skull layer, and I have 10 monsters in my grave. It'll be 11 with Fiend Farewell. So I might as well just blow up both of those monsters. Get 8 counters. And I could revive pretty much any dark monster in the game. I had an Invader of Darkness mill, so it's a pretty quick, easy win. Pretty unlucky for that guy. Back when regular beatdown decks were popular, like this deck would have just really dominated them. Especially if you have opening hands like that. The most annoying things for this deck are like cards that return cards to your hand or kill it with effects like Dream Clown. Tribute to the Doomed is more common as like one of the more annoying cards to deal with. Order to Charge was also another one that's annoying. Like it's not that bad if you have like a Doom Dog set. But if your magical merchant gets like soul exchanged or something like that, and it's a uh, you get nothing out of it, and you can't even use Fiend very well. So here I'm getting another huge mill. It's definitely like one of the best parts of the deck. Just love how many aspects it has to it. So much utility. Econ to save his monster. He doesn't have like any immediate plays. Okay, he tributed for Gaia. Desert Sunlight's not gonna help him, but uh, to even prevent him from destroying my monster, I just use Skolar early. I don't really have to, I just kind of wanted to. Just to deny him. Also make him feel a little bit worse about his decision. 
So, uh, being able to use Skullar to kill a, a 7 level monster. It's a uh, 21 extra attack for my Doomsday Horrors. It's pretty huge. So those are all the duels I have for now. <laughs>